Hola mis queridos, como estas mi amor Alicia? Hello my kittens, how are you? My name is Allison and today we are playing Grim Tales Bloody Mary Collector's Edition. Now before I get on to the main topics of what I want to talk about, before we start the gaming, I actually want to briefly mention what the difference is between Collector's Edition and the regular game. Collector's Edition, I believe, is the strategy guide, considering it also has chapters from the bonus game as well as the collectibles. And there's also the bonus content. The bonus content, you get the bonus game, which we are in right now. We also get wallpapers, concept arts, and screensavers. I'm not going to show you those because they might spoil the bonus game. I know they already. I know the majority of them are the main game, so that's cool. There's also the music, which you can actually sh save onto your computer. I think you can do that with the wallpapers and screensavers as well. I'm not sure about the concept art. Yeah, you can. Okay. There's also the collectibles. I'm going to show you that in a second. There's also achievements and Hall of Mirrors. Uh, yeah, complete the bonus content to unlock the Hall of Memories. Unfortunately, I did play ahead and finish a, the bonus game. And oh my gosh, guys, the Hall of Memories, it's basically an additional bonus game. It is insane, and I love it. I am looking forward to showing you guys what that's like. It's basically playing all of the main rooms in the house. Uh, anyways, let's look at the collectibles. The collectibles you are able to search for throughout the entire game, both the main and the bonus game. We only have one left in the bonus game, and I still haven't figured out which one I missed. I'm sure, though, if you go through my earlier videos, you could find out which one I which one it was. I'm not going to search because I... That's just a whole lot of searching. Uh, I just want to briefly look at the achievements real quick, because if I'm correct, yeah, I got all of the easiest pie achievements, all the look of look mono hints achievements. I think there might still be one or two left. Oh, there's five left. Okay. And this one is look mono hints that's finished all hidden objects uh, puzzles without a hint. I'm definitely going to try doing that uh, if I do a second, a uh, third profile, sorry. Search everything, finish a hidden object puzzle in more than 10 minutes. That is going to be hard to do, considering I still have to do these three. And these are like finding hidden objects in a certain amount of seconds. I probably could do that though in the bonus game. The others I've already unlocked because there are Im uh, custom images on them and not the uh, locks. I, I'm i looking forward to playing the bonus game again. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and go to here since, the, since we're going to be going with the bonus game. The bonus chapter. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> so the bonus chapter is about us trying to free Mary. And it's not her as the evil as Bloody Mary anymore. This is the innocent Mary before she became Bloody Mary and we're trying to free her so that she can be with her husband who is waiting for her on the other side and I mean other side as in where you go when you cro when you enter the light we have no idea if he's in heaven or hell or not or even if those two believe in heaven or hell I don't know anywho um, I kind of forgotten where I was in the previous video and I did look at the footage I kind of remember what's going on uh, we do have a whole bunch of room, or not a whole bunch of rooms, but we do have a good portion of uh, rooms in the mansion cleared, which means we are getting close to finishing the bonus chapter. I know I've been talking quite a bit already. I need to finish what I wanted to talk about real quick. Grim Tales Bloody Mary has to be probably the scariest game I've played. As far as watched, it's not the scariest. The games that I have played personally, this has to be the scariest. I advise you not play or watch this game by yourself or in the dark. If so, good on you, you are brave. And this brings up the little scare challenge that I've come up with while playing this game on the channel. My challenge for you is that you play this game or even watch it by yourself in the dark. And if you can do that through the, uh, the entire game, including the bonus chapter, then you've won. And you can go onto your social account, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, TikTok, <laughs> Instagram. You go on there and say, I am not afraid of a mouse. But if you so much as turn that light on, or even text your friend to get them to come on over so you don't have to be so scared and lonely, then you have lost. And you have to put on your social account, you are afraid of a mouse. And I say this because Her Interactive has pretty much smacked the tagline on Nancy Drew, saying that that she is not afraid of a mouse. Although she is afraid of a rat, there's proof of that in the in the game Danger by Design. <laughs> and I keep pointing that out because 
it doesn't follow the tagline. I feel sorry for Nancy, and I feel sorry for her interactive. Especially since they're so slow on releasing Midnight in Salem. They are releasing character descriptions, though, which is not entirely looking good. <laughs> Anywho, like I said, Bloody Mary is a scary game. The topic of it, the Bloody Mary, it's not just an alcoholic drink. It's also a bit of a legend, a bit of a myth game kind of thing. I advise you not do that only because, well, if you're superstitious enough, it'll definitely scar you for life because it's not a good thing. It's not a good game to play. Not to mention, you are feeding fire to that legend and you do not want that to continue on. I actually advise you to research it before you play it, seriously. It's not the best thing to do, <laughs> to play. Anyway, let's get on with the actual video game, Grim Tales Bloody Mary. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I believe we were going to finish this little puzzle here, which is setting up the photo. Um, yeah, there we go. Which is not he that hard to do. my wishes and married that trollop anyway. But you're not welcome here, Mary. You'll never find a home here. Not if I can help it. Uh-oh. Roll smooth. Oh, she meant to poison Mary, but she poisoned her son instead. Oh my gosh, this is scary as heck. This magical pickaxe is a Black Hill family heirloom. It is capable of breaking any stones, and no spell can stop it. Ooh. Ooh, this is a cool looking chest, but it looks like we need a crest for it. That's either a W or an M. It's probably supposed to be a W. All right, so now we have a magic pickaxe and a hammer. I actually can't remember where we need the hammer, but I think I have an idea of where we can use the pickaxe. Yeah? Magical to break the stone. Smash. Hmm. Oh, hey, we can pick... Wait a minute. I've seen that image before. Oh, can we use the hammer here? No. Okay. But I know, I've seen that image before. I think it's in this fireplace, right? Yeah. Woo! Gardening shears. Oh, yeah, we can definitely use those on the vines that we just saw. Giving us a clear path to the next scene. Yes, please. So, wait, what? We can still go over here? Oh, right, because we need to shear all the... We need to shear all the flowers that we've been seeing. Which means I need to go back here. Yoink! Yeah. Alrighty, did I do that? Oh, it's waterlogged. We gotta empty that. I need a container to remove water from the boat. Yes, we do. Um, okay. It looks like we need a pedal. Oh, isn't that the same pedal from the fireplace? Yeah. Oh, so those things that we need to unlock, those things that we need to unlock are for that. Interesting. Um, so... Is there anything else here? We need a chain for that. Something for this. Um... All right. Let's actually look at the map real quick. Oh, we can still go to the front of the porch? What's going on there? Oh. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, so what? where else can we go? What an unusual place for a picture, but it's definitely filled with Mary's husband's love for her. Oh, okay. So we he is on the good side of af the afterlife then. He's already crossed that light. Which means he's waiting for Mary. Oh my gosh, that's sad. Alright, well... Oh yeah, we can cut this. 
All right, we're done with the shears. And I believe we're done with this room as well. Sweet! I don't remember what we needed the hammer for. Ooh, we can take the chain. Sweet. Oh, which means we can use that on the hook. Oi. Um, and that grappling hook we can probably use on that fishing net over here, right? Yeah. Yoink. So what is interesting is that the uh, Hall of Memories, it is definitely going to take a while. And I honestly cannot remember. Um, actually, we're, we are getting pretty close to the end of the bonus chapter, considering uh, we're at this hidden object scene right now. Because that's where I started uh, playing ahead when I was checking the game today uh, before I recorded. Um, funnel... Berries, lobster, trident. Forgot where the cup was. Two strainers right here. Shoot, where's the cup? Oh, that's what we're getting. That's okay. Alrighty, dighty. So we got that cup. Nice. What is this? Wait, I think I've seen that before. Was wasn't it here? Yes. And we got a belt. Would it be weird if we if we have to use that for the ore instead of duct tape, like it should be? Yep, that's weird. That is definitely weird. But hey, at least now we have a second ore so we can get to that tree of Mary's and her husband's. Hi, beautiful island. Hey, look at that last terror collectible. Star screwdriver. Oh, hey, we have a page. Do, 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 do. do we have all of the entries now? Yeah, I think we have all the entries. Sweet. That is so cool. I finally found the tree Mary and her husband planted on their wedding day. If I revive it, it might bring Mary peace. I saw a recipe for the elixir of life on my way here. Now I know where I should use it. Wait, what are you talking about? We haven't found the elixir of life yet. What? Wait, and that actually had an image of the recipe. What? We haven't even found that yet. Woman, stop spoiling the game. <laughs> I guess we were supposed to have everything uh, at this point, but we don't. So, all right. Uh, we now have that screwdriver. Let us get everything. Yoink. There we go. Uh, I think there's one here. Give me. And there's one in here, if I'm correct. Yeah. E this bag actually gave us a crystal ball, which is here. Oh, that's where we're supposed to use the hammer! Hi! What is that? Stone of Life. Interesting. But hey, now we have all the things that we need for uh, the butterfly net. Yeah. There you go. Aw, the birdie goes here. Tweet, tweet, tweet. And the wreath, which is technically supposed to be called a laurel, since it's going to be placed atop her head. Hey, she gave me the net. Nice. And now we can finally use that here. A boink. Yes, please. We are on our way. Ah! Oh, hey! Family crest. 
Oh, that's a family crest. I thought their last name was Blackhill, though. What's Mary's maiden name? Oh boy. Recipe! Yes! So now we can go to that uh, secret room. I told you we needed a recipe! Yeah! Alright, so let's see. Poison Ivy. I think you go here. Yep. Uh, Lily of the Valley. You go here, I believe. Oh, it goes automatically to the correct base. Okay. Or vial, sorry. Alrighty. First one we put in would be this beautiful thing. Um, and then this beautiful thing. Then the berry. This beautiful thing. And this icky thing, the poison ivy. <laughs> Alright. And last but not least, we do put this here. And that dissolves, I don't know how. And it appears in here. I don't know how we're going to get rid of Chunk. I know it says Chucky, but I call it Chunk because of the movie Goonies. That little thing is Chunky. And because it's eating so much. Doink. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's got its flowers, petals, back. Leaves. Ho. Aww. Aw, they look so cute together! They legitly look cute together without that purple dress, although she does rock that purple dress quite well. I bet she could look really well with that with her normal look. With her, like, normal appearance, I mean, not her evil self. Man, that was wicked! And I mean that in the good sense, a good way, not the, wi not the evil way. <laughs> yeah. Ugh! Man! Although that is one play, that is one musical you definitely need to check out. Wicked, ah, oh, best Broadway musical ever. If there's a way to find it, I advise you check out Wicked that has Lonnie Manella and Kristen Chenoweth. Those two are amazing. They have perfect chemistry on the stage. I love it. It is beautifully done. And I know you've already seen the credits of this. I probably could just go ahead and click it, but I'm going to be respectful and let it continue on. So that was the bonus chapter. I'm actually surprised we got it done in one video. Although I guess I should have seen that coming considering what of the play ahead that I got to today. The Hall of Mem Memories thing is definitely going to take a while. I don't know if it should be all in one video or not. So I'm definitely, I already did like a good por a big chunk of the Hall of Memories. So I might be able to play it at least a little bit in the next video. Because clearly I'm not going to be able to do all of it in this video. Maybe just like an introduction of it. Oh look, the voiceover artists. Yeah! Donovan Snyder. <laughs> As in, Snide? Smile, sir. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you have completed the bonus game. The Hall of Memories is now available to you in the bonus content menu. Okay, thank you. So... Uh, I actually want to look at the collectibles real quick, because we did get to... I actually do not know if we got to look at the descriptions for all of them. Definitely not this one. <laughs> so, I'm actually going to go ahead and read through them. Sarkter. It pierces the deepest corners of one's soul to drain your hopes. The victim is thus consumed by hopelessness. Looks kind of weird. It looks familiar. Um, forcing terror. Born in shackles, it moves slowly as it wrestles its chains. Now it's in a hurry to watch its victims writhe in the fetters of fear. Mortal terror. When encountered, there's no escape. 
It takes hold over your body and doesn't let go until the deadly end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Consuming terror. It has no eyes to see its prey, but judging by its looks, it never goes hungry. Its prey's fear never fails to tell it where to go. Ooh. Blind terror. Sneaking up from behind, this terror blinds the victim with a shroud of fright and madness. Oh boy. Ugh. Visceral terror. This terror starts as a single flicker of fear in one's soul, before it bursts into a wildfire that seizes control of one's mind. I. Abject terror. It always attacks when you least expect it. Just when one may think it's gone, it sends a shiver down your spine. Yeah. Downright terror. Once it pierces one's soul with its spikes, it will never let go. Running or hiding will only make it more powerful. I think it's missing a word. <laughs> Unspeakable terror. Its cold tentacles grip your heart so tight the prey isn't able to scream. Yields to it once and you'll always be its slave. Primal terror. Oh my. Hiding behind the mask, it advances steadily towards its quarry. No one could hide from it. Unreasoning terror. This one overwhelms its victims until they lose their mind forever. Ah. Uh, unimaginable terror. This fear devours its victims without giving them a chance to realize their own impending doom. Terror of denial. The fear that traps those who explore the mysteries of life and brings them to their knees. Thus anyone can be its victim. Oh my, the denial. The pure terror. The last and final terror. This powerful and all-encomposing fear lives in one soul, waiting for the moment its victim loses control for a single moment. Oi! And those are all the terrors, everyone. Good night. And good luck. Wow, I can be creepy sometimes. <laughs> uh, wow. What a video. What a day. And in all honesty, I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of Hall of Mirrors, but I've already started it on my uh, practice, on my play ahead profile. Therefore, I would have to start here unless I want to replay it on a third profile and say, hey, this is what it looks like. But that'd take a pretty long time. I did not notice that hand before. <laughs> what? Wait, did the background change because I finished the final chapter? The bonus chapter? What the heck? This looks so different. It actually looks kind of cool. And you know what? Because we finished the Hall of Memories, or sorry, because we finished the bonus chapter, we can actually look, the, uh, look at all the concept art and wallpapers. So, this clearly shows the boy that we're trying to save uh, for Jackie's sake. There's the Innocence Mary. There's Bloody Mary. Either before or after she used the curse. There are the twins that actually helped us. And there's the boy that we saved first. I think. Uh, I think so, yeah. Oh, and there's Bloody Mary at her fiercest. There's Jackie. Hi. I actually used a good portion of these for thumbnails, actually. Which I thought was a beautiful idea. Um, yeah, that- No, this is the first boy we freed. This is the first boy we freed. Ah, this is a beautiful one. Alright, let's look at the- Uh, oh wait, the screensaver. Right. Secret Lake of Black Hill. Yeah. Richard and Mary- Wait. It's still locked. I don't get it. This should be available, right? Interesting. Or maybe it's supposed to look like that for the screensaver. I don't know. Let's go look at the concept art. Yeah, there's that. That's that's pretty cool. Aw, oh, see, they should have kept that one. That looks so cool. Oh, but that must have been for the secret island, right? With the tree, special tree. Okay, never mind. I I take it back. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, there's the secret island there. 
Now this, this concept is beautiful. I kind of wish they had kept it. At least they kept some of it, right? I wonder if that's in the room, because I don't remember that. There's a balcony. They actually added the mermaid bit. Interesting. Not to mention the sandbag and all that jazz. And there's the bo the dormitory room. That's beautiful. And you actually get to see the window. <laughs> Sorry. Like in the main game, I'm so frustrated that there's no window. Because our main character, Anna, is like, hey, where did that come from? There's a, it came from the window, right? What window? <laughs> uh, oh, and there's the front. Beautiful. There's no plants. Of course, this is concept art before they continued on with it. Yeah. Oh, there was a swing. A proper swing. I think we might have cut that, actually. So that's cool. And then there's some the music. Different kinds of music. I actually really like this track. Uh, the next one I think is pretty loud. A little daunting. Dun, da, da, dun, 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 dun. And this one's a bit quiet, but you gotta turn it up to pay attention. That's beautiful. I think you can hear flute. Nope, that's violin. No, there is flute. No, that's not a flute. That's oboe. Got it. Okay. That's beautiful. Oh, there it is. There's the da there's the more daunting one. That tells you that there's a demon nearby. Oi. <laughs> Um, sounds a lot like the first track, but hey, I'm not going to complain. So, question. Which... Oh, is that still on? Yeah, it's still on, sweet. I do believe that it's going to be it, everyone. I've been kind of dragging on because, you know, me. I like to drag things on when I don't want things to be over. Even though I keep saying I've been looking forward to this game to be over because <laughs> it's so scary. But the bonus chapter wasn't that scary, actually. It was actually really calm, really soothing. I think the only thing threatening was the, uh, step- Was- not, I keep saying stepmother. Was the mother-in-law. But she's, like, gone. She's, like, gone. I think she's already passed away. So, there was no reason for us to be scared in that chapter. But, this does mean that we have the Hall of Mirrors next. I'm not gonna open it because it will start the whole thing. So, the idea of it is implanted in your head. And I'm going to try to encourage you to check out the next video, which will ho hopefully be the last. If not, I will probably play it another week because I doubt I can get this done in two. I doubt I can get the Hall of Mirrors done in two videos. I doubt it. But we'll see. We'll see. Anywho, I do believe that's going to be it, everyone. I love you all so, so, so much. And I hope you all enjoyed th this video as much as I did. Seriously. Oh my gosh! And I will talk to you all in the next video! And on that note, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, smash that like button like a kitten would. And if you're just now tuning into this channel by watching this video, go ahead and k -k 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 click that ugly red subscribe button. Make it that beautiful gray, as well as the bell icon right next to it. I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I am Sweet Rascally Rabbit, saying goodbye. Stay awesome and stay on YouTube! Bye. But I will miss you. Kinda.